Welcome to Word of the Day with Comedians. I'm your host, Dedo Des Maller, and joining me on the show today is Dave Sheehan. Hello, Danny. It's good to be here. Your word today that we're going to go through is debilitating. Debilitating means causing serious impairment of strength or the ability to function. Oh, this is already deep. <laughs> I, I feel like during COVID times, everybody's been debilitated by uh, just an incapable of function because of either COVID or the fear of COVID or just by general apathy. Yeah, that's definitely the word of the decade. Never mind the day. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right. And the fun fact from Miriam Webster, they have a fun fact about the word debilitating. The verb debilitate and its adjective form debilitating comes from the Latin word for weak, debilis, D-E-B-I-L-I-S. I love this uh, debilis. Because it sounds literally like something a kid from an 80s sitcom would say, like, what are you talking about, Debilis? <laughs> <laughs> Often used of disease, <laughs> as in the patient was debilitated, it can also suggest something that strikes like a disease or illness. And they, in this fun fact, they give us our own sentence that we're going to have to redo. The actor was debilitated by stage fright. Oh. In some, the word suggests a temporary impairment or a condition of mm. weakness and hopelessness. All right. Well, I know a little bit of Spanish, and I know the word in Spanish for weak. What's the word? In, what's the word for for weak in Spanish? Uh, the Spanish word for weak is débil, d e b i l, with an accent over the e, so that ties right to the Latin. Uh, are you good with Spanish words? Because I took six years of Spanish in public school, and I do not know any of it. I'm hardly fluent. I've been using an app to try to get better. I know a decent amount of vocabulary, but like, if I listen to people speak Spanish, I can tell what they're talking about. I won't understand every word, but I can kind of get a sense. But I would like to get uh, better. I've been working on it slowly. Oh, is that a, is the learning Spanish been a uh, pandemic activity or is that just something you've been doing for a while? Uh, for a while. Clearly, I'm not making good progress, but. Uh... <laughs> awesome. Uh, what I find funny about Latin words is that, you know, here's this language that we don't use anymore that's inspired so many other languages, yet we continue to keep using the Latin words for things. Like, when are we just going to get rid of Latin and just use the languages that we're currently talking about? Well, I mean, Latin definitely influenced, like, English and Italian and Spanish, so its influence remains, and uh, it's still taught in schools as, like, like language history, I guess, but I don't think it's going away anywhere, especially uh, especially if Jeopardy has anything to do with it. <laughs> Well, oh, on that, uh, we're recording this the day after uh, Amy, whatever her name is, uh, lost. So I don't, I don't know if you had Jeopardy episodes in the yes. DVR queue uh, that you're waiting to get to. But the word means weak. So what is we need a subject for our sentence. There's always got to be a person in the context of the sentence. What is a good name of someone who appears to be weak? Who is a what is a weak name? Oh, that's a loaded question. How about <laughs> Forrest? Forrest? Okay. Forrest sounds like somebody who's weak. Okay. So what could Forrest be doing that is, oh, maybe, could, should we stay with Forrest Gump so everybody knows? He was uh, bad at walking. Didn't he have braces on his legs? It's probably what everyone's thinking anyway. <laughs> uh, or let's even, well, wait, what is it? Doesn't his... Sally Fields plays his mother, which, by the way, fun fact, within the span of one year, Sally Fields plays Tom Hanks' wife or girlfriend, something like that, and then one year later plays his mother. What, um, what, when, when was she his, uh, wife? Um, that's wait. what I'm trying to remember. Oh, oh, wait, what movie was that? Uh, Punchline and Forrest Gump. Maybe it's just those two. Okay, so maybe it wasn't y one year later. Um, I, I, I saw that a while ago. I, yeah. I don't remember the particulars, but since we're talking about um, stand-up comedy, that ties right into debilitating, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, d well, let's hear. Forrest was debilitated with fear uh, his first time on stage. All right, that's the beginnings of a sentence. What would make him... Let's let's go away from stage right and see if we can find a different, goofier reason why Forrest would be fearful. Um, if you want to... Stick with the, let's see, first uh, fear, first time at a nudist camp. That could be debilitating. <laughs> uh, fearful of, fearful of his own, uh, <laughs> 
fearful of his own. Uh, what is it? What do they call it when you go through puberty? Pubescence. Pubescence. I think that's the word. That's. I like how I'm coming up with other words that we need to learn to define. Well, pubescence the, will probably be the word of the day in like February. To define our word of the day. <laughs> All right, everybody. We have picked our word of the day. We have defined it, and we have created a sentence using the word of the day. Dave, go ahead. The word of the day is debilitating, meaning causing serious impairment of strength or ability to function. The verb debilitate and its adjective form debilitating comes from the Latin word for weak, debilis, often used of disease. It can also suggest something that strikes like a disease or illness. In some, the word suggests a temporary impairment or a condition of weakness and helplessness. Upon arriving at the nudist convention, Forrest was debilitated with his fear of his own pubescence. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Great job. Uh, tell everyone out there where they can find you, Dave. Shroud of Silence on Instagram and TikTok. I'm on Facebook as Dave Sheehan. I don't have a comedian in my name, and there's a bunch of guys, but if you put in comedy, <laughs> it should hopefully lead you there. Um, my MySpace page is still down. I, I don't have any plans to resurrect that. <laughs> Excellent. All right, everybody. Well, we have successfully added one more word to our vocabulary. Thank you so much to Dave for joining us today. And stay, uh, keep, keep learning words out there, everybody, and word up. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Word of the Day with Comedians all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to continue to keep expanding your vocabulary the funniest way possible, I recommend clicking this box right here to watch our latest episode. Of course, stay up to date with everything by subscribing or listening to Word of the Day with Comedians on the go by downloading it on iTunes or Spotify. 